As we move further and further into the digital age, as cloud gaming becomes more prominent, as digital sales overtake physical sales, the question of ownership when it comes to video game purchases is a topic that's becoming more prominent because more and more we're seeing that we have less ownership over the products that we're purchasing. Game companies control how our purchases are used. Game publishers want this digital transition. They want that control over our products. These game companies want to be able to control things like whether we are able to sell used games, whether we are able to lend them. They want to exert control over things like refund policies. And then with digital sales, there's the added benefit of drastically lowering production costs. They don't have to make discs. They don't have to give stores a percentage they can keep all the revenue for themselves and there are just a lot of benefits on the publisher side of things and more and more we're feeling the effect of this kind of trend especially as people are beginning to lose access to their games because let's face it that's what we're buying nowadays we're buying access to games rather than full ownership of them i can still boot up my n64 put in a cartridge that i bought ages ago and still play that game but for other titles we might be seeing things like license and rights expiration or studios closing down and that causing games to become inaccessible or unpurchasable after a certain time period but a worse issue is happening with a game called Tron Evolution as it is marred by the after effects of DRM. DRM, many of you will know about by now. It is essentially an anti-piracy measure that requires a game to stay online in order to be playable. And also it is required for people to gain access to their game. So via a key or a code or something along those lines. But with Tron Evolution... Because Disney has not paid the bills for the licensing of Securom, which is the DRM used for Tron Evolution, the game has become unplayable for a lot of people who have purchased the game. They have lost access to this title that is years old, but they still should be able to play, given that it is a game they bought with the mentality that they're going to own this game. So this information was reported by a couple outlets, including Game Revolution here, as you can read in this paragraph, what's a little more unusual is that the Securum DRM license also appears to have lapsed and owners of the game are finding Tron Evolution entirely unplayable. This article then links to people who have reported on this. This is a Reddit post that's making the rounds and it reads as follows. Game, you can't play the Steam version of Tron Evolution anymore. Game is delisted, serial keys revoked. So a bit of a rant. I often buy games on sales, but don't play them immediately. Yesterday, I decided to play Play Tron Evolution, maybe even practice speedrunning it. So I install the game, try to activate it, game still uses Securom DRM, and the serial key has expired. After a bit of googling, I found this thread and it seems more users are affected. In reality, everyone who owns the game but doesn't have it installed and launched at least once right now can't play the game probably ever again. So in other occasions like license expiring or rights expiring, that usually means that a game is taken off a store, but people who have bought the game are still able to install it and play it because they paid money for that product. But because of this extra layer of DRM, in this case, even people who have bought the game and who don't already have it installed or who uninstalled it and are reinstalling it now, are no longer able to activate the game. The DRM is no longer able to verify the legitimacy of the game because Disney did not pay the bills or are neglecting to do so. This Reddit thread continues. It's very sad to see what is happening here. Not sure if it's Disney or Securom's fault. I just wish it would get fixed eventually, or at least someone would find a workaround to this issue. I also posted about it on speedrun.com, games forums, to see if anyone else has any idea what can be done, but so far no one knows. From what I understand, not confirmed, the only way to be able to play it is to have it installed and activated before it all happened. After uninstalling the game, you have to deactivate the key so reinstalled game won't work either. Honestly, at this point, the only solution is to use a torrent site or something and pirate the game. Weirdly enough, you know, if you pirate the game, you can forego DRM, you can crack it, and then actually have ownership over that game, whereas if you go through official channels and 
go through the DRM, you always have the risk of having your license to the game, your access to the game revoked, because in this day and age, we don't own games anymore, especially if we purchase them digitally. Now, if you click on the link provided here by this Reddit user, this is the discussions page for Tron Evolution's listing, and you can see plenty of people are reporting on this as well. And we began to hear of this on October 12th since then, but it's only now that the story is gaining traction. So this reads, error occurred, your serial is deactivated. Well, Steam gave me a serial key but could not use it. Using the support site to generate unlock code for me, it has written, error occurred, your serial is deactivated. What should I do? So there are plenty of people who purchased this game a while back and now want to play it or who uninstalled it and want to replay it again. And a lot of them are facing this issue. And sure, the player base for Tron Evolution might not be huge, but the fact remains that no matter how few people purchase this game, they still should have access to it, given that they bought the product, paid money under the assumption that they own this. The fact remains that this right here, plain and simply, isn't right. Now, Disney has since responded, Disney being the owner of the Tron property, and this is a response that was relayed by the following Steam user. So the response this individual got from Disney Games and App Support reads as follows. Hello, our team is aware that the activation site for this game is no longer live and has since been shut down. At this time, if the game was not already previously installed, it will no longer be able to be launched. We are looking into this hiccup and hoping to patch this in the future. However, at this time, we do not have any current estimated time on when this will be. Thank you for your patience. So the response that this individual got basically bogs down to, yeah, we are aware that this is happening. We'll solve it eventually. We don't know when. Thanks for your patience. They're not guaranteeing a solution. They're saying we'll look into it and we'll maybe eventually have an estimated time. And that's about it. So that does not inspire confidence. And if Disney Games decides that they don't want to fix this whole situation, it may very well be possible that people who purchase this game will never have access to it again, that they'll have to resort to other means like piracy. They may very well have agreed to terms of service that makes this whole situation legally correct on Disney's side of things. The issue of DRM is one that's been discussed at length throughout the years, in large part because it does tangibly affect the user experience. I do understand that companies want to avoid piracy, but the measures are so extreme that we're seeing people who don't have a stable internet connection will lose the ability to play these games in the moments that they don't have internet access. A lot of these DRMs tend to affect a game's performance quite drastically. We have seen plenty evidence of that. But with this story, we're really seeing the after effects of DRM and the way it doesn't enable ownership. And this concern is more relevant now than ever before, especially as we move into the cloud gaming landscape with Stadia in particular, having a model where you're not only paying for a subscription to gain standard features like 4K and 60 frames per second, but you're actually buying individual games, but not actually downloading them or owning them physically. You're only gaining access to Google servers. It's bad enough that Digital games you have downloaded may have access revoked, but now we're seeing an environment where the companies themselves host the games and you just stream the game on your end. So you're purchasing these games at full price, but have even less direct ownership to them. I'm also reminded of PT, which fortunately it is a free playable teaser, but that's a game that's been revoked after the Kojima Konami debacle. And so it's something that players can no longer download. But at the very least, I managed to download it on my PS4, on my original PS4, so I can still play that game as long as I don't uninstall it and keep it in the hard drive. But if PT were hosted on Stadia and something like that happened, I would just completely lose access to that title. This DRM situation is very much reflective of what could happen with Stadia. The launch of Stadia has been very rough, and if the service doesn't take off, it's very possible that Google will at one point shut it down. Maybe that'll happen years down the line, but by then people have made plenty of individual purchases, and when Google decides to shut that service down, access to those purchases, access to those games will be completely lost, and the purchases you made will all be rendered moot. And we all know that Google has a history of killing off services, so the concerns are real. And this whole DRM situation is 
just sort of the foreshadowing of a future in which game companies have all the ownership while they get to exert the way we uh, interact with the games that we purchase, the products that we spend money on. But yeah, the situation is just complete BS. The fact that games can have expiration dates, essentially, that are completely arbitrary, that could activate at any time based on reasons like the company who owns the license for a game didn't pay up the uh, the licensing fees for the DRM, or licensing and rights disputes could lead to games being pulled from stores. But with DRM specifically, with that extra layer on top, and DRM is still a thing that is prominent today, we live in a time now where we'll spend money on something and then they can just take it away with no warning whatsoever at their own whim, or just for really dumb extraneous reasons that have nothing to do with the user. And I should also note that some people are reporting that even when they do have the game installed that says right here, just tried playing it for the first time in a couple months and it won't let me, I've never uninstalled it and it was working fine a few months ago, now it's telling me my code has been revoked. These DRMs do tend to try to re-authenticate and I guess with this game having gone untouched for a couple months on this user's end, when it tried to re-authenticate, when the user tried to log back into it, it just said that we cannot verify due to the fact that the Securum license is expired on this game and that just screws everyone over. So yeah, concerns over game ownership are very much real and this story right here pretty handily highlights this issue. But yeah, this is where we're at with this issue, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments below what your take is on this DRM issue and just the whole general issue of games ownership. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.